So the next video that we're going to do is going to be to show you how to set up our actual CNC to cut out our base. So first things first, here at the CNC, I'm going to attach my material to my bed. And remember that we said we do want it to be long ways, so I want it to be nice and tall, and that I want to line up the edge with this end right here so that that's nice and flush. I am going to secure it in the top left and bottom right corners. So I'm going to move this clamp towards me. What I found with these clamps is that if you loosen them and then kind of lift up both ends, they should slide and move pretty easily. Fantastic. We might need to adjust exactly where our board is in order to get both of those clamps on there, but I'm going to go ahead and clamp that bottom right corner and then also the top left. Now, when we set up our file, we put our file pretty much in the middle. So I've got some room in that top and bottom to put those clamps, uh, but I still want to try and get them close to the edge. There we go. And other one. Now, before we go ahead and do anything else, we do want to give this a little wiggle test. So try and move your material. It does not wiggle or move. Fantastic. So now on our CNC, we can go ahead and turn on our master power switch, which is right down here. And with that, everything starts to turn on, including our computer. So with our computer, we're going to go ahead and hit the continue button. And then here, click OK. And then we get to our X, Y, and Z screen. Now, like we talked about in our little preview, when it comes to going left and right, you can click and hold those, that's far, that's fine, uh, as, as well as going near and away. But when it comes to moving our Z axis, we do just want to do lighter, smaller taps rather than pressing and holding that one, just so that we don't accidentally damage our CNC. Now, as we are adjusting this, we are trying to get that bit right on this corner. When we did our preview, we were using a V bit and we were using a little spacer, but this one we are just going to go for the actual corner. So I'm gonna move it a little bit more to the right, a little bit more down, a little bit more away. And just keep making those tiny adjustments. Now in our preview, I think I showed most folks that I like to use a piece of paper. If you forget to grab one, you can also just try to turn it. And you can see that I actually cut a little bit into my material. So I'm going to move it up just a smidge. And that is going to be a good spot for me to start. All of this dust that's falling off, by the way, is sawdust left behind from Mr. Brown's last project. Um, at this point on my screen, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the zero X, Y, Z button and then click okay. So now it should say zero, zero, zero as I am at my zero, zero point. With my USB, I'm gonna plug that in right over here on the side. And when I plug that in, which is surprisingly tricky one-handed, when I plug that in, you're gonna then go ahead and select that USB button and you are going to find your file. This is why we said to name them kind of short names or with your initials, so I found JM1 Base. And again, your screen should look like this. I did make it today, so I can double check the date. I can also double check the size. So I know that it's four inches by five inches and a quarter inch thick, and it's got that material surface and bottom left corner as our origin points. So I'm gonna click next and then okay. Now at this point is when we would turn on our drill bit. So coming right down here, we've got our green run button right next to our red stop button. At this point, if you want to mute your audio or lower the volume, that might be a good idea since it is going to start to get kind of loud. Clicking that green run button, the bit is going to turn on and it's going to start coming up to speed. You can see those numbers on that screen increasing. And as they increase, they're going to go up to 24,000. Once they are at 24,000, back on our computer, we're going to hit the start button. At this time, I do sincerely suggest that you mute your audio.
that's my signal for unmute your audio. So right now, if you can hear me, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the spindle so that it stops running. It does take a minute to go ahead and fully slow down so we can either watch that number and or just watch the spindle. While it is slowing down, I can go ahead and move myself back to my main screen and I can move my spindle away so that I can start clearing up my table. Now with that, like I said, we did not fully cut out, but we did get a solid outline of our base. So we know now where we need to cut with the saw. That cut about a quarter, uh, an eighth of an inch into it, so cut about a half of the way through this piece of material. We could go a little bit deeper, but we don't wanna fully cut it out um, just because it then could potentially fly away from us as it is being rotated very, very quickly. Now, before I leave, I have a lot of sawdust here, so I am gonna use the vacuum that's right next to me to clean up this CNC bed. And then I'm going to take the flash drive back to the classroom. <laughs> 